morning and welcome to Southern Sports News. I'm Abby Williams here to update you on the latest in moccasin sports news. Florida Southern Baseball started off their season with a record of 1-1. One one. The Mocs played on the road against the Augusta Jaguars over the weekend. The series started off with the Mocs striking first on Saturday with a 7-2 win over the Jaguars. Five of the moccasins' seven runs on Saturday were scored in the first two innings. Sophomore Logan Brown had a two-and-run homer that capped the 5-0 start, and senior pitcher Ben Richardson abolished the Jaguars' first 11 of 12 batters. But the Jaguars wouldn't let the Mocs walk away with another win on Sunday. Augusta shut out Southern on Sunday with a 6-0 win. Florida Southern is set to host their home opener this Saturday in a doubleheader against the University of West Florida at 1 p.m. at Henley Field. Men's basketball took on conference rivals Barry last Wednesday in St. Leo last Saturday. Wednesday's away matchup against Barry saw the Mocs lose by a score of 101 to 63. Dominique Williams led Florida Southern with 15 points. Looking to bounce back, the Mocs took on St. Leo at home on Saturday night. Saturday's game saw Dylan Travis play his first game back after foot injury kept him out for three games. He made his return to the court in style finishing with 19 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists in 39 minutes of play. The Mocs, as well as St. Leo, struggled to score for much of the first half and at halftime. FSC narrowly led 38-36. to The second half saw the Mocs struggle with foul trouble, but the game was an exciting one. Back and forth, the teams exchanged points in the lead, but St. Leo ultimately came out with a narrow win by a score of 89-86. to for the second straight game, Dominique Williams led FSC in points with 20. The women's basketball team went 1-1 one one this weekend as they faced conference foes Barry and St. Leo. In the game against Barry, the Lady Mocs were held to a season-low 54 points. Jensen Blazage contributed a team high of 13 points and 3 rebounds, but the Mocs fell to the Bucks 54-62. In Saturday's game against St. Leo, rebounds were a strong point for the team, with every player that was in for more than four minutes coming out with at least one at the game's finish. Mariah Harris and Bailey Florin combined for 34 points to lead the Mocs to a 67-53 and 53 win. The team improved their record to a 17-3 overall and 8-3 in the SSC. Thank you for joining us. This has been Southern Sports Network. I'm Abby Williams. We'll see you next week.